Consent agenda today? Huh? Uh, yeah, Tom Tiersch, uh, Jefferson County. A couple of things on the consent agenda, or maybe the regular agenda. <laughs> That's okay. On the agenda, no, on the, on, uh, first of all, I want to speak in support of the commissioner signing the letter uh, uh, encouraging participation in this broadband effort for Jefferson County. I think it's really vital to this community, to the county, to the country, really, to get rural broadband out there. And this is going to be one of the few opportunities that we have. Uh, you know, yeah, it's stimulus money. And stimulus money is tax money. It all comes out of our pockets. But, you know, guess what? <laughs> Sometimes things are necessary. In fact, I wrote a comment about this in the newspaper uh, article. Uh, I liken this to the rural electrification project of the last century. You know, we wouldn't have electricity here if it wasn't for that. Most rural counties wouldn't. So, you know, internet is the equivalent in this century of, to society of what electricity was the last century. So I encourage the county to, to go forward and work on this thing. Uh, second uh, thing on the consent agenda, I know this is on the consent agenda, is the commissioner's approval of a $6,000 uh, contract for the uh, configuration of some, some new equipment for the network, for the county's network. Um, probably a good thing, and I don't object to the amount of the, the contract, but I do have a question about the procedure that was used to uh, get this contract uh, going. I don't recall seeing a competitive bid package being put out for this thing, or uh, and if there was an art, a request for a proposal, I'm not aware of it. So I guess that's more in, in the sense of a question rather than a comment, but I would like to know you know, why these things aren't being competitively bid, because there are lots and lots of qualified Cisco network engineers that are capable of doing this kind of work. And I don't object to spending $175 an hour for qualified network engineers. That's what I would charge you. But, you know, I'd like to see some competition. Um, and lastly, um, I would like to comment on the <coughs> discussion last week, which I'm sure was probably approved, for the uh, participation of Jefferson County in this resource conservation program and spending uh, $300,000 to hire a resource conservation manager for the next three years. Uh, we know for sure that it's going to cost the county $10,000, roughly, of uh, unbudgeted money this coming year. Uh, you know, Mr. Morley said in his budget statement uh, in December that, you know, the practice of making quarterly emergency expenditure appropriations is no longer an option. Well, how are you going to pay for this guy? You're going to have to make an emergency budget extension. You know, you have to set a set of principles and stay by them. Long term, yeah, this, this might be a good idea. I'm certainly not against the, the idea of saving energy. But, you know, every month when you get your Puget Sound bill, you get a little, little piece of paper in there that says, call us for a free energy audit. Has anybody in Jefferson County government ever done that? You know, let's take advantage of the free opportunities before we start spending money. You've been yeah. saving money on the uh, green light there, <clears throat> keeping it off. <laughs> it may not be plugged in. It never lit up. 